All right, y'all. So I told you all that I would come back and do a another pecan pie recipe with your filling being way firmer. You know, I told you you can either use flour, corn, starch, or just add another egg. Me personally, I prefer to add another egg um, to mine. So that's what I'm going to be doing today so that you all can see the difference between the first one and this one. Because like I said, some people like the regular you know, pecan pie then a lot of, some people like it to be really firm when they're eating it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, it's the same recipe as the first video. All you're adding is the extra egg. So I'm pretty much going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, I did by accident <laughs> grab a traditional crust. So instead of one, I'm going to have to make two of them. Um, but just make sure you're really mindful that it does have deep fish on here. If not, then you definitely, definitely going to be ha having to make like two or more. So if you just want one, make sure you say deep dish first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my egg. And if you all don't know, eggs is like glue. So, it's something that pretty much hold stuff together and that's basically what causes the pie to be more firm. So you need one teaspoon of vanilla. Like I said in the other one, you can add even a little bit more. Just for this video, I add a tablespoon and then a little bit more. It just depends on you because some people use two full, you know, tablespoons. So if you like vanilla, do what you like, you know, do what you like to do. Okay, so you also need two tablespoons of butter. I already melted it. You make make sure that it's already melted and cooled because you don't want to put hot butter <laughs> um, with your eggs. And sometimes I even add three tablespoons of butter. Um, so once again, it just depends. Make sure it's warm. It just depends on... Um, you know your preference and what you like and want because even with butter like what's left in here which is not much I'll just put that into my pie crust okay just like the last video you need one cup of carol syrup you can use the light kind or the dark um the difference with that is the dark carol syrup makes it a little bit more richer um so if you looking for like a richer type of pie then just go with the dark syrup but since i added a little bit more butter to mine um I don't necessarily need the dark brown because butter makes it rich also. And last but not least, the pecans and then the one cup of sugar. 
You can't forget that. Okay, so I got my sugar here. Make sure that it's granulated sugar. And that's one cup. And we just gonna stir it around. And I also have my oven on 350. And you leave it in the oven for 60 to 70 minutes. Um, like I said in the last video, just make sure that you check it around like maybe 55 minutes because everybody oven is different. And so that's our feeling right there. So I'm gonna kind of move that out the way. Get my pie crust. This is not the deep dish, but you definitely get the deep dish, especially if you don't want um, more than one pie. So I definitely got to be mindful of where I want this to stop. Because all of that is not going in here. <laughs> so this is my other pie crust right here. You all may not be able to see it. And I'm just going to put the remaining butter in here. And like I said, if you not a baker, someone who can't bake, but you, you know, want to bring some type of dish to your family's house for the holidays or whatever, this is something that you can definitely do by yourself. Make sure it's kind of even. Okay, and like I always, um, like I said in the last video, if you, mine does not tend to burn because I take it out at the right time, but if you are, you know, scared that your edges are going to burn, you can cover them in foil and that'll keep it from cooking um, so fast. So now I'm just going to clean up, get my baking sheet and put these on the baking sheet and then we're going to put them in the oven. Alright, so this is what I got them sitting on 60 to 70 minutes on 350 um, and then I'll take them out and show you all. Let them cool for two to three hours. And then I'll cut it so that you all can see the difference. Oh, I quit stuff. All right, y'all. So I cut a piece just so that you all can see how much more firm that it is inside the middle. Um, I might just insert another clip from the first video so that you can kind of see even more, but it's way firmer. There's barely any liquid um, that's coming out of here like the other one was. So that's pretty much the difference in adding an extra egg or using cornstarch or flour. Okay, so I cut another piece, which I'm going to show you all in a minute. 
but this is just more of kind of, of a up close to see the firmness and the thickness of it and here it goes on the plate so another little up close those pecans look so good y'all so now what i'm gonna do is add some of this um butter pecan ice cream to it you can also add whipped cream to it whatever you prefer um but let me do that and then i will be back with you all all right and this and uh, there you go just did a little scoop of ice cream you can it's always enjoyable also if it's warmed up i remember when i was younger i actually preferred my pecan pie warm with um whipped cream or ice cream but like i said it's just all up to you but that's it y'all so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video bye